So in the last video we saw the meetings policies. Today we are going to see the next one that is yes, let's see what it was. The meeting settings. Alright, so in there you can see we have a few things that <clears throat> Can we uh, anonymous users can join a meeting or not? So this is your control here. You can allow people to join anonymously or not. It's really up to the admin. Email invitation. What the email invitation will look like, and you know if <clears throat> your users are sending that invitation, uh, they can send and customize it here. It's grayed out because you are allowing anonymous. Anonymous means that any can join, but if it is the a, a customization, then you can do so customization by typing the. Uh, URL so it will be a logo uh, like of that invitation what the logo will look like the legal URL like if there you have terms and condition legal you can put the legal uh, web page address here help URL like if somebody is having issues with uh, joining the meeting you can put a URL like this somebody has to be uh, make them it's not you that will make those pages they will make it okay if, if you are unable to connect uh, come to this meeting connect contact this person uh, call this per name or send an email or I am something like that so that those that is the help page or if there is like any troubleshooting that you know if there's a known issue you can add that in that page and all you as an admin will need to do is put those links in here and footer do you want to say anything in the footer so you can say this is the example of a footer if you click on here you can see this is what the invitation look like so if I can move it it's exactly actually is in there it's grayed out so you can and and you see this is my note example of photo so that's how it will show up in their email and this is the general template for the networks so how do you want to um, handle team meetings real-time data this is for uh, you uh, to see how it worked and if you remember if you know uh, zoom is having issues uh, there and so if you want to like see within your network what's going on if people if you have your own uh, you can like you don't want to rely on microsoft you want to see and then you know check everything's out this one is important qos marker for real-time media traffic it will show up as team traffic in your like uh, the network traffic when you're analyzing through uh, those tools and it will say actually this was the team data you can turn it on and off so with this what happens is that if you turn it on then you have an option like uh, all those switches and routers networks if you ever uh, like go in them you can know you can customize them so KOS is a pretty much in normal routers as well but we're talking about enterprise so what you can do is you can per prioritize this team meeting data um, team meetings data uh, or you know this traffic because you everybody's not working from home so if somebody some people are ish, having issues then you can you know put the priority on this one and this this one is that you can select the board uh, range for each type of real-time media traffic that is basically on your computer you can assign ports or you can automatically use any available ports it's really up to you if you were to specify then you can see that these ports are 20 ports are for audio next 20 are for video and then screen sharing is for this one so if you can do this you can see that it's gone so when you do that these are the computer port they are automatically so you can save or discard whatever you do these are the meeting settings if this video has helped you please read comment subscribe and share and i see you in the next one